now we're at the food festival. It's Saturday night. We're meeting James and Frank out here. This place closes at 10 o'clock. It's about 6.30 p.m. Got here a little late. We're like way in the back too. I'm on my phone again because I forgot the little screw that holds in my GoPro. And I'm 45 minutes from home. What was he yelling about? Oh, yelling about the cars? The cars are so funny here. You should be required to have two or more children to own a car in the city. How can one person take up so much space? Now the challenge of finding other people that we know. Because from what I saw driving in, this place is absolutely huge. I hope the sound is good, guys. All right, so I'm gonna walk right through these people's space. This is where you buy coupons so you can buy food. To say I also read online that it costs 100K to get in or 200K to get in and you get 100K in food coupons. But we did not pay anything to get in. So either we did something wrong or the website was incorrect, something happened. I'm very curious to what this is over here. Hospitality College. Go to college and how to be a good server. This is a pool and I've actually gone swimming here before. Do you remember going swimming here? Remember we got our swimming tickets over there? Yep, right over there and we came in and we went swimming. And the bathrooms were right there. Do you remember? Years ago, a year and a half ago? Me and you. Remember we drove very far to go swimming? This is where we went swimming at. I think you're going to have to be pretty precise in order to do this correctly. Because they make the piggies look very small, but they're very long at the same time. Anyways, we can watch this kid do this, but he's not going to hit them because they're not set up that way. Ah, these little carnival games with the little BB guns that you have to aim like upwards and to the right to hit your target. But you don't actually learn that until you shoot it. It's not looking like a BB gun, maybe it's a dart gun. Until you shoot it, I don't know, 15, 20 times and get the hang of it. Like this guy, I bet, he can show off and say, look how easy it is, but he already knows how to aim it. Carmel games are great. From a small town in America, Carmel are a huge part of our culture. Let's be a little bit more optimistic. It's a very vibrant, exciting atmosphere full of life and colors and hopefully some good food. I mean, for sure some good food. I think we have to buy coupons here. Coupons for food? Sure. So we just got us 200 k's worth of food tickets. We literally have food tickets. Huh. Where I see and smell food. Not a good. Want to get some of this? Let's get some of that. Balalo is good. Yeah, let's do it. So hungry. Fortunately for me, I'm using my phone. That is one burnt bird right there. Just one? 40K. 40K for this? Yes. Wow. 40K for this. Looks like we're gonna be eating like birds tonight. Pecking at different things. This girl's taking up a whole table to herself. I'm tempted to sit down and say, hey, how's it going? Take over some of her table space. Where can we sit? Nowhere. There is not a single table open. 
All right, no table for us. We left off somewhere way over there and we made our way up here. I think we're close to James. We're gonna sit down and enjoy our snack. She wanted something to drink and it looks like they got drinks right there. Hey, Miss Thirsty, they have some drinks right here. I think you could probably order, it looks like 7-Up or water. Heineken or Tiger. Ah, okay. So we're gonna sit here and we're gonna wait for James. I'm gonna give you guys a shaky camera apparently. All right, so we had our little snack. We found James. Now we're gonna go get peeing something to drink and some more food because we're starving. And there's a lot of stuff to look at here. So we're gonna be doing a lot of that. I don't know how long this video will go for, but I think with my capacity to talk, I think it can go for quite a while. That's your usual arts and crafts that you always see at these kinds of festivals. All right, let's pick a direction. I saw a chai K over there, like special drinks. Did I say it right? Chai K? Chai yeah. I won't spoil the mood by talking all the time. Who knows, maybe when we get a cool little musical highlight scene out of this. That'd be neat. Ah, here we go. That's my flavor of beverage right here. Use coupons to buy? Yeah. 30K. Not bad, actually. I expected 20, 30 is good. It's pretty cheap. What? What happened? Huh? Say again? Tell them I'm from Norway. Tell them I'm from uh, Portugal. And Rolando is my friend. Rolando's Portugal, right? Where's Rolando from? The football player. Ronaldo. Ronaldo, yeah, that guy. Uh, Portugal. Portugal, yeah. Tell them I'm from Portugal. Yep, that's the website I went on to try to find out about this place, Saigon Tourist. All right, now let's find somewhere where we can sit down and enjoy a meal. Maybe we should claim a spot. Those people are getting ready to leave right there. If I could just sidle up next to them and plop down. I think it'll be easier to find a table now than after we're carrying a bunch of food. Anyways, enjoy looking at the people. Well, I look for a table, actually. Me looking at the people found us a table. All right, looks like we got us a table. Are you guys gonna go? Yeah. Ah, here we go, here's another one over here. He spoke really good English. I just realized that sometimes I take for granted how well people can speak English. And I'm not blown away by the fact that he just gave me a fluent sentence in English. I forget sometimes. Anyways, well, no, anyways. Let's go find food. Okay. I go look around. Okay. Whatever. What do you want? You want me to sit here or go with you? No, let me go look for and then I come back on you. Okay, sounds good. So, if you didn't catch that, she's gonna go scope out the situation and come back to us with some intel. Kohina's returned and she's got intel for us. What did you discover? I, I saw the, the, the red one, see? Uh-huh. Uh, it's named Dong Khan. They sell a BBQ chicken. A rib, uh, it's a Edison Yung Wang. 
Okay, anything I want, really. Yeah. Do they I'm, have? I mean, anything you like. Anything. anything I like or anything that I like that they have. Yeah, they have it there. Okay. Yeah. Let's go over there and get some grub then. Tables are kind of hard to find here, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It wasn't that much of a struggle. Uh, it's not too expensive. This is a gum tea. Yep, fried rice. Oh yeah, chicken leg, chicken wing, black bao. This is a gà hấp mắm nhỉ, very good, but. We don't have enough tickets left. Yeah. We have to get more tickets. Hawaii. Uh, Hawaii, I mean, um, I have to say that BBQ. But Bao Sa is oh, everything. Good food okay. here. Order what you want and I'll eat whatever you get. Let's crowd our way in there. I'm smoking too, so that's kind of bad. That's not good. I need more, huh? Okay, well give me my wallet, I'll go get more coupons. I stay here. Maybe. Yeah, why not? Alright, gonna buy me some coupons here. Hi champ. Oh these are 20k coupons. 200. You're giving me more than hi champ. Are you sure? Did I give you bar? Hi. Hi champ? Okay. One, 20, 40, 60, 80. Ah, I see. Okay, so, gotcha. Made myself look like an idiot. Okay, thank you. I don't know how to count. I'm gonna hit this girl. Okay. Those ones are 20s. Okay, come on. Let's get up there. Sure? Fried rice sounds good. In Vietnam, it is not customary to line up. The way to queue in Vietnam is to uh, shoulder and elbow your way to the front. It's kind of like being at a crowded bar and everybody trying to get the bartender's attention. That's what it's like getting to a food vendor in Vietnam. Yeah, we're just taking a selfie right next to my face. It's okay. I'm like right next to Ian. Ian's face. Let's inspect Ian to get relaxed. The air is pretty clean, huh? I've given you guys a sufficient look at the food, and I'm just up there taking up space. So I'm going to back off a little bit and let the little Ian get in there while the big fat bearded guy gets out of everybody's way. I'm actually gonna go back to the table. See what loot Heen came back with. What did you come back with? I had a grilled pork. Grilled pork? Grilled pork? Okay. Hail yeah. Nyung? Nung? Hail Wei. Hail Wei. And chicken. And chicken, okay. Let's open her up and see what we got. Well, that looks pretty good. Good little pieces of bread. These breads are very good. Uh huh. Bun bao. What is that? Bun bao is like a little biscuit. Not like a cookie like you'd say in England. Mm -hmm. An American biscuit, a little piece of bread. Alright, so let's dig in. These biscuits are my favorite. Bun bao. Bun bao. Bun bao. Yeah, I was thinking bun bao. completely devoured the food 
How was the food? Was it good? Yeah. I don't believe her face. Say that with more of a convincing face. I mean, that cocktail is very friendly. Yeah, it was. I thought it was good too. I just figured the coupon thing out. The coupon's a way to tax the vendor because we're not giving the vendors any money. We're giving all the money to the coupon people. So they're gonna have to turn in the coupons to get real money. So that's how they're getting them to pay their fees. We're taxing them somehow. I bet you they're getting, you know, 8K for every 10K coupon turned in or something like that. Anyways, I wanna walk over and check this out. A little monkey. guy in the red it looks like he's airing out his parts. But I think he's trying to emulate scratching his, his balls. He started doing that and he started losing a lot of people. He almost started losing me. Oh this guy is into his role. And this is more for the children, so how much the children are getting into it. I guess my mind is like a child because I'm entertained. This guy's mask back here. Let me zoom in on him. It's hilarious. Alright, we got some light loop juggling. Loop lights. It is. I was running around the greasy camera. I got my greasy thumbs. Well, this looks like where all the crowds are. So let's go this way. I sure hope the audio is fine. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Hoi An. Walking around Hoi An at night. Uh huh. The crowds and the lights and all the shades of yellow. Reminds me very much of Hoi An. Someday I'm going to show you guys some Hoi An videos. I really like to do some of the reviews at the fancy hotels. I've been thinking about that a lot lately. But that would cost me a lot of money. <laughs> I got some hotel reviews coming up though. Anyways, Rex Hotel, five star hotel in Ho Chi Minh City. Whoa, look at those big old chunks of meat. If I can get behind this guy. That's fish? Oh yeah, look at that fish right there. That's tuna? Yeah. Uh, tuna's ex yeah. Tuna is very expensive in Vietnam. It's almost two or three times the price than it is back in America. For about sixteen dollars a kilo, which so I guess isn't really that much. Think about it like that. A kilogram of tuna is a lot of tuna. It's a lot of tuna sandwiches. Let's check these guys out. Make sure I'm not blocking anybody's view. Just like this? Yeah. I think I kind of remember that. Huh? Yeah, I kind of remember that. This area has been, is moated. Here. What's Nim M Lang? Lang. The two good and funny name. Really? How vua tắm tắm trứng cháo cá bạc. 170k. 50k for some rice and vegetables. Some rice noodles and vegetables. 
I got distracted. Hotel Saigon Morin. That is one letter off from being moron. Oh, this smells really good. That smells fantastic. Wow. That smells really good to me. Bumbahoy? Yeah. Yeah, but I'll bumbahoy it out. You wanna buy some? No? Okay. Alright, let's get back on the street over there. I took in a risky maneuver and walking out the entrance. Now, I, mind you, I never paid to get in to, come, to begin with. But basically, you pay to get in 200k and they give you 200k worth of meal tickets. But I want to show you guys dancing. Frank should be here any minute. We'll definitely be going live tonight. I have committed myself to reinvesting more time into my channel, especially since we're nearing the end of the school year. And there's another reason, too, that I'm going to share with you guys maybe three weeks from now. If you guys think you know what it is, throw it in the comments. I may have let it slip in a live stream. I'm not sure I don't remember some of my live streams. The place isn't really as big as it looks, or as big as I thought it would be. But it is super crowded. Those are like just like the same shacks in the place. This place reminds me of Hoi An and Hoi so much. The way that it's set up. Maybe because Hoi An is known to be a very cultural city in Vietnam. Since this is a cultural festival, I think a lot of the Vietnamese roots, what Vietnam used to look like, can be found in places like Hoi An and Hoi. And then it's being replicated here. Now I'm just spewing all this as my brain thinks of it. There's no actual fact behind anything I'm saying. This is just stuff that I, I think, stuff that I've noticed. Usually I get educated by the people in my comments. So I really, really appreciate those kind of comments. Especially Delac G Digital. He gives me a lot of good information in my comments. So if you're listening, Delac Digital, shout out to you, buddy. Thank you for all that fantastic information you gave me about this country. Keen was just mentioning how hot it is here. It is super hot. I'm sweating terribly. Actually, I'm not sweating that bad. I've definitely sweat a lot more. How is, what else can we see? This is the carnival area. Got all the games? Let's go check that out. I already showed you guys earlier, so I'll be right back. 
I decided to turn it back on. I didn't actually go over here last time to see what all this is about. It's like some sort of a raffle or bingo or some sort. I got a chess game there. It's a big board. Very tiny. The players are tiny too. Not too much to see over here, so we're gonna go find Frank. This is actually one of the best swimming pools in Ho Chi Minh City. I drove all the way across town. Hey, there's Frank. Want to say hi to YouTube? Say hi to YouTube? Okay. Party hard, party strong. So you're sweating a storm up already. It's nice and cool out here. This is how my body copes with it and cools down, so I feel great. Have you guys found beer yet? We found beer, we found food. Well, we're going to find more beer and more food. We're just waiting for you. Found beer, found food? Yeah, I guess I can see that. Our other party member is here, Frank. And now we're going to go find beer and food. There's beer. Do you, do you have coupons? You got to get coupons. Why don't you have coupons? There's a coupon stall. Apparently, when the noobs get here, we got to show the noobs how to do it right. A few hours later, and this place is dead. You guys remember what it looked like just a couple hours ago? It's about an hour and a half ago. It's approaching 10 o'clock. We're out of here. We all hung out. James, Frank, Ian, and I had a few beers, had some food. Camera off. Personal time. I hope you guys enjoyed this festival, the cold food festival. I didn't see any cold food whatsoever. It was a lot of fun. There's always something going on here in Ho Chi Minh City. Absolutely dead. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah, I had fun too. We're gonna get our bikes and we're gonna head somewhere else and continue our evening. Thanks for watching my video. You guys are awesome. I hope you guys stay that way.